This is an unboxing and review of the Bissell Pro Heat 2X Revolution Pet Pro Carpet Cleaner. First we'll go ahead, we'll pull it out of the box, and you can see here it's all packaged up in plastic, and we'll pull it all apart. And there isn't much to the assembly, all you do is you take the handle, you just push it down into the hole here, and then you take the grab handle which snaps over the back, and that just snaps in place. And there is one screw that holds it all together. And then we'll just coil up the power cord. And put on the water tank. This is the clean water tank that goes on top and it just snaps down on. And we'll go over the machine real quick. As you can see, this one does have two rollers, which is why I chose this over the competition, as it'll get you much more deep clean. And here you have the fresh water one gallon capacity tank. That's also where you mix your cleaning solution. And then you have the waste tank, which is an easy drain out of the top. And it does just snap back in uh, real easy. And then we'll just go through the accessories. You can see you get the two-in-one pet upholstery tool. And part of that, it has a little canister on the bottom, which will help capture any pet fur. Uh, and then you can just clean that out real easy. And here you have the three-in-one stair tool. You can just rotate this around to whatever tool it is you're looking to use. A real handy tool. And then you have your tough stain tool, which is just kind of an all-around. You can use this in the car. And here you have your soap measuring cup and a nozzle clean-out tool. And it does come with two 8-ounce trial-sized detergent bottles, which is enough to fill that uh, one-gallon tank about six times, which should be enough to get you started. And then you just throw everything in that uh, attachment bag, and it does hang off the back of the machine. So we'll go ahead and we'll fill her up and see how well it does. Now there's one spot here that I will go ahead and use it to show you how well this works, and I will use the clean shot as well. This spot has been a, a high traffic area and also had a place where the dog had been sick previously, so we'll hit this spot as a good demonstration. So we'll fire it up. And then we'll activate the clean shot, which is just a way to spray some of the soap and get it nice and uh, soaked in. And then we'll start making our passes. And without any sort of cinematics here, you can see here that this uh, is, takes a couple passes to get it cleaned out. I would say after two passes, uh, it was reasonably uh, clean. However, I did hit this area exceptionally hard just because this uh, area is a heavily trafficked area. Uh, and I thought it uh, did, did warrant a little bit more of an extensive cleaning. But again, about two passes and that was uh, uh, pretty cleaned out. My only critique of this machine is that when you are using the accessories, the brushes stay spinning the entire time, so I do recommend propping it up just to make sure that you're not burning any carpet or uh, hardwood floors. But other than that, uh, again, this machine worked very well. I'm very pleased with the results. If you want more information, you can see the link in the description below. Thank you very much for watching, and please subscribe, and we'll catch you next time.